your hands to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we thank you for every good and perfect gift. For we are coming from you, God. Hallelujah. Saturate us with your holy presence in this place right now. Father, I decrease, oh God. Hide me behind the cross that your people see not me. Help us to be true worshipers of you, oh God. To exemplify you in this earth realm right now. Father, I thank you that bodies are being healed. People are being delivered. Yours are being broken and destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare a shift in this place. We declare a shift in our lives. We declare a shift in our finances. Why would you cut 
a new cloth to put on an old piece of cloth. In other words, it don't make sense. Instead of cutting the new cloth, get this off the new clothes and put on the old clothes, why don't you just put on the new clothes? All right. Everybody, I, I, I'm going to get down for the best. I'm going to get hit myself. What I'm going to say. <coughs> Anybody got some old shoes that you really like? Mm -hmm. Why? Because they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody, you know, I know Mr. Jordan, I'm sure you know, uh, and Brother uh, uh, Robert, and, and uh, uh, our minister, uh, Robertson, know some about some boots. Anybody ever go buy some brand new boots and get this? When you first get in them, they don't feel comfortable. Why? Because they haven't been broken in. All right. Oh, All right. <laughs> But the day will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them. Come on. And then shall they fast in those days. Hear me. Ain't going to need them for fasting right now. Why? Because I'm with you. Yeah. Come on. They don't really understand the significance of fasting right now. Why? Because as long as they got me, they don't have to. Come on. Hear me. And you got to focus this for the first time. Why? Because you don't do what they do. Hear me. Because God has called me to do what he called me to do. Amen. And what's so happening? Everyone hear me. It's so easy for us to presume and assume other things about folk when we don't understand them. Like them in the house. Right. Then when we hear things about them, get this, we pass judgment instead of getting to know uh -huh. them. Yeah, that's right. Can I get a witness in yeah. here? Yeah. 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 How many of us have based opinions of a folk we didn't even know what we heard from uh -huh. about them? Uh -huh. yeah. And then when we finally open our hearts to get to know the person, we realize they ain't as bad as they uh -huh. say. Go ahead and read the next verse. And no man put it, and no man put his new wine in old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles. Come on. And be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. Come on. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. Come on. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desired new wine. For he said, The old is better. The old is better. Let me give you the title of the message. The title of the message, new wine. For new wine skin. New wine for new wine skin. Hear me. Jesus was dealing with the Pharisees. Because the Pharisees, you get this. You know how you have folk that's so religious when they come to church. They, they sit in their own ways. They have this own uh, mentality and thought process of how God works. Get this. But hear me. And this is what God said to me. He said there's so many people that come to church but never get in the church. God help me in the house. He said this to me. He said, so many people come inside of the physical building, but spiritually never make it to church. Why? Because they come with their minds already set, as if they already know everything about God. And so they're missing what God wants to do for them. So they don't grow. So that's why they come to church and they leave the same way they came, because there's no, get this, openness of their mind or their heart. To grow in God, to know more of God. We go about so many times when we are told about God instead of finding out or seeking out to know God for ourselves. Right. And that's why the Bible said to study to show thyself approved, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly divine the word of truth. Get this. So many people easily in the church can be bamboozled because somebody got some kind of a tongue. Somebody can preach some kind of word. Hear me. But if you don't have the spirit, give it, that bears witness. Come on here. You will be led astray by any, tossed to and fro by any wind and doctrine. And God don't want us to be, get this, to be lost, get this, because or deceived by the enemy. He wants us to know him. And what's that? Get this. How many people are praying to a God that they don't even know? Glory to God. Coming and professing a love for God, but they actually say something totally different. Because when God said forgive, we don't want to forgive. When God said let go, we don't want to let go. 
Why? Because we think we got God all figured out. Everyone, let me help you. We can't outsmart God. Amen. God is so great that he takes his foolishness and confound the wise. Things that don't make sense to us make perfect sense to God. Come on, get this. God, when he could, the Bible said, when he couldn't find no one else to swear by, he swore by himself. Amen. Everyone hear me? That's a bad God. Hear me? That when you can't find nobody else greater than you, you have to say, I swear by myself. That's what God did. Hear me? Because he can't lie. And everything that you're going through right now, everyone hear me? God is just trying to bring you something new. Hear me? You don't force something new into something old. All right. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. That's why he was talking about the wine. He said, you don't put new wine into an old vessel. What is that happening? What is, understand this. There's a process called fermentation. Hear me? What is the wine? Tree? Back in the days of Jesus, get this, they would use goat skin. Amen. To be as wine skin. They would pour the new wine into a goat skin. Get this. And what has happened, it would be sold, get this, from the neck, the head, and get this, the feet. All this to make a certain mold, get this, to pull the wine into. And the wine, get this, the wine would ferment, get this, from two to four months. So we can say roughly three months. What is that? A season. Come on here. And you're wondering why you're going through so much. Today we're in a season right now of fermenting. God is allowing you to go through a process, get this, because during the process of fermenting, understand there's a gases called carbon dioxide that causes, get this, the skin to expand. Glory to God. Tell you God is just stretching you right now to get you out your comfort zone. Everyone hear me? What has happened? We have got so comfortable, comfortable with having things out of the way. But tell you what, it's not the time God is trying to elevate you, so he's trying to take you higher. So you got to understand that's why he's allowing you to be shaken up to get you out of the norm. Tell you what, say, no more service as usual. God is taking us to a place here that when we step on the ground, I can feel his presence. But wait a minute, I don't have to wait to get to church to have church. I can have church at my home. Everybody hear me. Stop waiting to come to church to have church. Because so many times we wait on other people to pump and pine us and get us into the place where we can worship God. But tell me, listen, I got a relationship with God for myself. Can I help somebody in the house? You do not understand that what if God can hold you for an hour or two, he can keep you for a lifetime. All right. How is it that this when we come to church we just be so saved and sanctified but when we walk out the door we lose our religion? Amen. Hallelujah. If he can keep me out, then he can keep you eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. Understand this, that Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees because they had a mindset of how the Messiah was supposed to be. Amen. Get this. The Lord don't do what you want all the time. Got to help somebody. And how many know that God will sometimes do this? When you pray and asking God for something, God will do directly the opposite. Hallelujah. And I don't realize everyone hear me. And that's why Jesus, even the Son of God, hear me. God will even change his will for his own son. Come on here. And Jesus prayed the prayer, not nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Why? Because when you leave it to God, God always gives you the best. Amen. Amen. When you leave it to God, God always gives you the best. That means stop trying to bless yourself. Come on here. When you stop trying to change every man that come and put it in your face. Tell somebody in the house. If you can't
steady sucking your blood, steady draining you dry. Take it and then you gotta realize that God is trying to cause you get this to stop being dependent on folk and be dependent on Him. Hey, get this. Sometimes get this. We become so uh, so dependent on folk where we call them God. Tell me somebody because you always call them that same person all the time when you need something. But hear me. What did you do when they got there? You fake. No, you're in the house. You get mad at God, Lord, and then you get mad at them. I'm helping somebody in the house. Get this. Sometimes God has to eliminate folk. Get this. To realize, so you can realize how strong you really are with Him by yourself. Can I help somebody? I love a sister never said that said the thing that used to bother her for years, she finally was able to face it. Can I help somebody? She didn't feel when it came to try her. Because get this. When you get a break or the limits, the enemy's going to come back. That's his job. But if God set me free, I'm still free. Yeah. Amen. I'm on the fence. Hallelujah. The fence. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is trying to get us to hear the saints of God. To get to the place where we stop allowing him, our mind, to hold us back. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things have become. Well, get this, the reason why many people in the church are not growing in God is because, get this, they're still old. And so they can't receive new things. Y'all hear me? Because you're staying in that old mentality, that old lifestyle. You can't receive or receive the new things that God has for you. So get this, why? Because it challenges you to get out your comfort zone. And many times, get this, we don't like to be challenged. We don't want to be provoked to be better. We want to stay comfortable. Get this, why? Because there's a fear of the unknown. But everyone hear me. Whenever God allows you to be challenged, get this, he gives you the grace to be elevated. Hallelujah. He gives you the grace to move forward. He don't want you to be stuck. Get this, because anything is stuck is stagnant. It means it's not going. It becomes contaminated. It becomes poisonous. Get this. And so that's why get this. Jesus can say, I know better than what be the well. He said, rivers of living water. Come on here. We need to come on. You got folks in the church that are just a pond. Y'all hear me? What folks got to come to to get drink. Hear me? I want to be a river. Hear me? That folks they don't have to come to but I can flow to them. Come on here. And that's what the time wants in this season. Hear me? To get us out of comfort zone. Everyone hear me? When was the last time you really said somebody and told them about the goodness of the Lord? When was the last time you invited someone to church? When was the last time you, that you really prayed for someone? Because it's so easy when folks say, I want you to pray for me. Oh, okay, I'm praying for you. And we never, they never crossed our mind again. We just said words. Come on here. When I say, when somebody say, uh, uh, you pray for me, I stop right there and go into prayer. Why? Because I know, get this, that prayer is serious. And let me help somebody. God gave me a powerful dream the other night on Friday night. And in the dream, there was all these people that were surrounded. And, 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 and God said, y'all pray for him. And the people stretched forth their hands. Everyone hear me. And there was rays of light coming out of their hands. And I was just being stripped, like electrically charged. And then this one particular brother comes up. He said, man, I love you. And when he hugged me, there was such an anointing that hit. And I was elevated off of the, the ground. And then the Lord said, now it's time for you to come to this demon. So I went to this place. And this, and this demon would disguise itself. But able to trans, change forms. And so I'm walking down this street. And I get to this certain place. And he was and disguised himself as a tree. And I snatched him. I said, there he is. And I grabbed him. And then he came into his true form, and I began to rent him. And hear me, until we realize the power and the importance of prayer, we'll never come to who God has called us to be. Because get this, prayer is our lifeline of communication with God. Everyone hear me, God is speaking to us each and every day, whether we acknowledge it or not. Always trying to get us to come into who he has called us to be. Hear me, and the reason why many of us in the church are miserable is because we're selfish. God help me in the house. When you're doing stuff, anybody know that when you're doing something for somebody else, you feel better about yourself? Why? Because you have just tapped into your true purpose in which God has created you for. Everyone hear me. God has created you to be selfish. He created you to be a blessing to someone else. And my honest prayer is God, Lord, bless me to be a blessing to someone else. 
wine skin. The fermentation get this, which is the process two to four months. The alcohol, once it's completed, get this, once the, the wine skin has get to, got to its full max of elasticity, hear me, it cannot contract again. That means it can't go back. Everyone hear me. When God has moved you beyond where you are, you can't go backwards. The norm will never do you good. Hallelujah. You will never be satisfied with the norm. Get this. And what is happening, get this. We're trying to put new wine skin in the old dust, and that's why we keep breaking. That's why we keep falling apart. But everyone hear me. Get this, get this, get this, get this, get this. It said that if he put the new wine into the old, old wine skin, the wine skin will break and the wine will waste. Can I help somebody? That means, hear me, I'm not going to waste what God has given me. Can I help somebody? In order for you to be prepared for God has to give you what God is getting ready to give you something new, you got to change your perception. Come on here. you got to believe beyond where you are. Hallelujah for greater. Come on here. And hear me, you can't be comfortable with mediocre. Come on here when God is calling you for something great. And everyone in here has a calling on their life. Come on here. And what is happening, we want to hang with folk that are like minded. But tell you, I want to give with somebody that will provoke me, that will challenge me to be better. I want somebody, come on here, that will pick me up when I'm down. Can I, I want to be somebody, come on here, that when I'm weak, it can be strong for me. Come on here. someone else, you're fighting with yourself. That demonic force is trying to stop you from coming into who God has called you to be. Oh, you can't do this. Hear me. The moment that God said you can have something, then all of a sudden fear creeps in and says, how you going to do that? Hear me. First of all, if God gave it to me, if God told me he's going to do it, it's not up to me. I just got to trust him. Get this. How in the world God sends, get this, 12 spies into the land of Canaan Hear me, to spy out the land before the children of Israel go. Hear me. He said, I will tell Moses, he said, I want you to send 12 spies in. He get this, to see if the land is good, see if the land is grown with milk and honey, to see if the people be strong, go what? Hear me. They was in there 40 days and 40 nights. And get this, the enemy didn't kill them then. Why? Because they were covered by God. Everyone hear me. So God will allow and anoint people to go ahead of you to experience the blessings and the favor of God to come back and tell you, listen here, God got some good stuff ahead of you and everybody hear me as a prophet of God. I want you to know that I'm seeing stuff ahead of you right now. That God got some good stuff ahead of you, but you got to make up in your mind that let stuff go. If you going to hold on to the past, you ain't going to be able to move forward. If you want to know you feel stuck, what are you holding on to? Can I help somebody in the house? Do you want to ask my Lord and spend me? Father, bless me indeed. And Lord, my cause increase my territory. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to expand himself in you uh, so that people can enjoy the God out of you. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid and allowing the enemy to hold you down. Stop being afraid of allowing him, allowing things to hold you back. In this season, everyone hear me, it's crucial for the believers in God to rise up. To stand up, to proclaim the word of God like never before. The enemy never wants you to come into who God has called you to be. Why? Because you're a threat against his kingdom. Get this. When you become who God has called you to be, imagine all the people that be wrestled out of the hands of the enemy. Hear me. You can't pray for God to save other folk if you ain't saved yourself. Amen. Hello. Amen. Hello, someone. Amen. Hello, somebody in the house. It's time for us to get delivered. It's time for us to get free. And the reason why I get this, we are not walking in freedom or deliverance is because we don't have no prayer life. We only pray when we want something from God or we need something from God. But we don't pray just to dwell in God's presence. Hallelujah. Who the last time you went in God's into the prayer and you said, Lord, I don't want nothing, I just want you. Go over there, God. Every time we always ask him to hear me. And then the enemy allows us, get this, to be convicted because of sin or shame because of sin, so we don't want to pray. Come on, lift your hands and say, Lord, help me today. 
Hallelujah. We have to change our mindset, our perception. Hallelujah. Get this. Because the way things look are not always what they are. Can I help somebody in the house? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We come to church Sunday after Sunday, but how many come for a change? Glory to God. How many just come out of obligation? How many come out of religious ceremonial worship? Anybody come for a life changing encounter? Amen. Come on, lift your hands for God. I want to be better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Knowing that God is convicting you and dealing with you, but yet did this. That old enemy will slip in your ear. Oh, he won't talk to you. Everything okay. Then his sister says, and says, she's worse shape than you are. Get this. These are traps and lines of the enemy that will keep you in bondage. Anybody want to be free? Amen. Anybody want to go behind? Hallelujah. I don't want this heaven. People want to hear me. And so many times we listen to what folks say, even with this news and all this sense of God giving, we are to pray. The Lord told me years ago, stay out of the news. Yeah. If it's so beneficial, how come you panicking? Why are you stressed? Why are you fearful? Because all you hear about doom, gloom, destruction, and chaos, and violence, and racism. Hear me. But you forgot, get this. God has us here, the most, everyone hear me, the most powerful people in the earth realm called worshipers, believers, to have the power of prayer to shift things around. But the reason why things are not going like the way we desire, because we're not in tune with God. And get this, we got to be so careful of calling something God when it's not God. Yes. Yes. I stand here with something that's not God. Hear me, and I realize the main reason why we compromise in our lives for other people is because there's compromisation in our own selves. Hallelujah. We should hate the very thing that God hates. We should love the very thing that God loves. Yes. Come on, let's yes. answer. Lord, help me today. Lord, help me today. New wine for a new skin. Yes. Hear me, hear me. I don't want to be the same preacher. I don't want to come to church Sunday after Sunday and, and dance and sing a song, but my soul is locked and chained and snared in hell. I want to be free. <coughs> Hallelujah. Well, all the sin and fall short. We know that. Hear But don't use it as an excuse to stay in sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Just because mom and daddy said something's okay to do, if God said don't do it, don't do it. Come on, lift your hands. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, if they need to experience that, listen here, some things kids shouldn't have to experience if we went through it. Come on here. I don't want my babies to experience something. That caused me a lot of heartache and pain. If I can spare them from going and tell them, give them a word of wisdom, that I have told them I can do it, did they decide to do it? That's on them. That's right, amen. 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 Oh, mom and daddy, they don't know what they're talking about. They just so square. They so holy rollers, this and that. But tell you, listen, neighbor, one thing I know, come on here. Time will teach you stuff. Come on here. Yes. Anybody ever got time? Come on. Come you will bring a lot of spirits. Yes. Come on here. Yes, yes, yes. yes it will. Now, at the house working, standing on the mom and dad's roof, and you just buying your own shoes and clothes and doing whatever you want. Listen, let's start saying it so you can develop a mentality of having something when you get out. Amen. Because when you get out on your own, hello, <laughs> you're going to pay your own bills. Amen. Put gas in your own car. Amen. Hello. Thank God for mom and daddy being there. But hear me, we shouldn't become so dependent on. Our parents, everyone hear me. Because get this. Our parents should strive and desire for their children to be better. Glory to God. Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah. If you got a parent that's going through sickness or something, amen. God is bless you. Be work and take let be a blessing to your parents. Amen. And kids, you stand at the house and you work it. Come on. Hey, hey, mom and dad, I know you ain't nothing that needs to hear sweet dollars. Here's something. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. Show me appreciate it. You ever get kids this, this, give them allowance, and all of a sudden, and magnify them? No. <laughs> Come on. Let me hold, let me hold five dollars. Uh uh. <laughs> Come on. Y'all know this is the truth. <laughs> Them kids got quiet like their eyes open. <laughs> Why? Because we just expect parents to be parents. Everyone hear me. Why do we do God like that? Even when we disobedient, we still expect God to be God. 
Come on, lift your hands. Praise God. Hear me. Everyone hear me. There's blessings ahead of you, but you can only get to through obedience. Y'all hear me? And there's some things we've been waiting on for a long time. And the reason why it's, it's looked in our face, but out of our reach, is because of disobedience. And so we're mad and wondering why. And it happened. Get this. Because if you don't have the mentality, get this, to be able to enjoy, hear me, you will lose it when you get it. You want to appreciate it. And that's why we have folk, get this, they're going from one place to another. They want to hear me. It's not the places, it's some of you. Mm -hmm. Don't lift your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, you got to understand, see, that process of permitting, which brings the expansion, hear me, of the, once you get that place, they want to hear me, God knows just how much you can handle. Y'all get this. Before you break. Hallelujah. And some of us, if not most of us, need to be broken so God can make us a new. Yeah. Why? Because we are so set in our ways. You know how it is, uh, Brother Linda, when uh, 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 you at home waiting for uh, Deacon Dalton to come home, y'all are supposed to go out to eat and something held him up and and all of a sudden you frustrated and you come on here and, and I don't even want to go no more. <laughs> Why? Because your mind was so set and you was anticipating them going, but now there's a delay and now you're frustrated. Everyone hear me. You never know what God is standing for because of that delay. Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Sometimes God has to allow the lady to come get this to show us what we really are. Come on, lift our hands. Lord, help us. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Because everyone, everyone, look, point at yourself and say, I think I'm a pretty good person. I think I'm a pretty good person. That's what you think. Let that look. Come on, that's your opinion. But get this. I can ask my wife, I can ask my kids. That you hard sometimes, you just need sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Hear me. Let, let me say this. Oh, since you want to go there. So. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, just because I'm saying no, don't mean I'm mean. God, help me in the house. Amen. Sometimes, get this. When God is telling us no, don't mean that he's being mean. You never know what God is protecting us from. Because get this. God will always do what you want when you want him to do. Hello, somebody. That's why he got a lot of grown folks that still babies. Because every time they get their way, throwing temper tantrums, having fits. Because they're used to getting what they want. Come on, say amen. Ouch. Come on, I think we're going to got quiet now. I need some brothers to hold me up in the house. Come on. Brother Bob, we got to get one of his wife. Bob, hey, hey, bro, put your hand down. We don't want you to get in trouble. But everyone, I know I'm getting kind of comical right now. But yes, I'm getting very serious. Because get this. God wants to take you further than you ever gone before. Hear me. But he can't take you if you don't take his hand. He's not going to just grab your hand. You got to. His hand has already reached out to you, but you got to make the effort to grab his hand and let him lead you. Because get this. It's very frustrating, uh, Brother Jefferson, when you have a drag for, let, let, let me say this. I, uh, we have a dog at the house. Her name is Precious. God, she is. She's precious. And so sometimes I don't feel like really going out early in the morning. I let her out. Let her go just run do her own thing and come back. Well, on yesterday, she decides to say, I got a little long and long. So I said, I said and she come running. How many did she go? She runs right by me to keep on going. <laughs> I said, oh. I said, OK, you want to play this game? I said, OK. Call again. She come back, right, run right by me. So I said, I'm going to go give you a piece of ham. So I'm going to get a piece of ham. She saw it again. She said, come running out here. I grabbed it by a collar. 
and I drive in the house. And I get two good licks. Hit me. I'm not going to laugh at you. Especially when you stay in my house. Come on down. You're able to hit me. Because she get she just ain't get three meals a day. She eats all day long. She gets to eat, and then also she looks up your face. <laughs> and so me, sometimes I, I said, I ain't giving her this. I mean, you know, I said, steady looking. I said, yeah. She got your hand. Get this. But I don't put my plate back, my hand back in my plate. <laughs> no, I don't play. I don't play that. <laughs> Even how many times when God is blessing us, get this. When God just calls us, we just run by. Don't want to, don't want to obey. But we want him to provide and protect us. Give us food and shelter. Come on, lift your hands. Hallelujah. It means every time the house of God is open, how many of us just want to live? Ah, I ain't going damn tired of this to stay home. But he's the one giving us the strength each and every day. Get this. To do and perform the task at hand. Because everyone here, there's people that was perfectly healthy before COVID hit that died. Amen. So I in the house. I do. Hear me. And there's people, get this. See, there's people, this woman, she was over 100 years old that contracted it, but she pulled through. So get this. He's the one that let him do it. Come on. Amen. You, everybody, you can do all the right things and still bad things happen to you. If you had contracted it, thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everyone hear me. But don't think you better than no one else. Or your house is exempt. Right. It's only because of God's divine nature of protection and his blood is covered. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. Why are these people, these Pharisees, so bent get this on questioning the Lord? First of all, they didn't understand his flow. When people don't understand your operation, they're going to presume, they're going to talk about you, they're going to put anything in place. Uh, you know how when somebody hears something, then all of a sudden by the time they get back to you, they have a thousand and one things added to it. Yes. Because everybody else, like, they, they saw something. You know, you know, you know, you know how you hear about somebody, you know, they're in the hospital, they're they really sick. Then all of a sudden when they get back to you, they died. What? They died? Yeah. Then you call the person. No, he's still living. They just told me. Let me see how folks are so messed up in their mind. We always get this. Why? Because we always want folks to believe us. We want to say stuff in such a way to hype stuff up. Get this. Everyone hear me. You got to be careful of who always dash yourself on stuff to hype it up and make you feel like, oh, because get this. Be careful who you eat from. Amen. Be careful who you talk to. Let me tell somebody right here. How in the world can you get stability from someone that's unstable? That's right. Hello. Ah, Can I just take my time this morning? Because there's somewhere I'm going. Because what has happened, get this. We want people, get this, to tell us what we want to hear, but not what we need to hear. Come on, come on. That's right. Come on here. We want, so in my first name, I want you to. That's why my wife always running up there. Because uh, you, 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 you want to say, Hallelujah, somebody passed out there and say, No, they went out because you're red. Come on. And you know, good luck. Get this, get this. I'm going to be honest with you. You need people that will tell you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. Yes. Yes. Why? Amen. Because you don't need somebody that sit there and know you're very stink and sit there and say, child, they God. I didn't breathe when I'm holding down there right now. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. We laugh, but it's serious. Because get this. Instead of telling folks the truth, is because we don't, want, we don't want no confrontation. We better the boy. And then go behind your back and talk. But listen, I, I appreciate you for Tell me to my friend, Bishop Campbell, listen here. I appreciate you, but I don't like the way this, this, and that. And I said, okay, give me a chance to explain this, this, and that. 
Y'all hear me? Mm-hmm. Then somebody just, just up and just go with me. They're talking. You don't even know what's going on. Everyone hear me? I'm not beyond uh, approach. I need you to talk to me. You got to talk to me about myself, talk to me about my wife, talk to me about my kids. Come on here. Did you tell me I don't see anybody? Let me know. Hear me. Does everyone hear me? I'm not God. I'm just God's name. Y'all hear me? So I go as the Lord leads me. But then you have somebody here. You can't tell me how to pass it if you don't have a pass. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, we was at the old church, and the old church, that was the old church, and this is not the old church. Amen. Y'all hear me? Everyone hear me? Because when you move from one place to another, get this, you got to understand you can only take things that are beneficial. Anybody ever move? I know Sister Brenda, they, 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 they got all the houses and everything, and, and, and I ain't messing with you. Get this. You don't realize how much stuff you have until it's time for your move. Yeah. Everyone hear me? Powerful spiritual thing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. You don't realize how much stuff you're holding on to until it's time to move forward. And then you got to look at and evaluate what is beneficial. What are you holding on to that's holding you back? Get this. We should be farther along than where we are spiritually. But get this. We still stuck in the old wine skin. And comfortable with the old wine instead of asking God for new skin to give us new wine. Let me help you. Let's go to Acts 1 and 8. Acts 1 and 8. It says, But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and the other parts of the earth. Then get this. They go to the second chapter of Acts. If you want to hear me. Because there were some things that Jesus talked to the disciples that they did not understand, but they want to hear it. But he gave them parables, get this, to give them some kind of insight of what he was meaning. Glory to God. But get this, because they was in the old wine skin, hear me, they couldn't perceive the new things that he was giving them. Hear me. Until Acts 1 and 8, they, hear me, were at the place where they went up into the upper room, 120 of them praying. Everyone hear me. Entirely in the presence of God. Praying. Truly praying. Get this. For God to do something in them. Everyone hear me. During that time, I believe that was the time that God was making them new. They was letting go of everything. They was letting go of things they held against people or even against one another. So get this. That could prepare their hearts. Get this. For the new wine, the Holy Ghost. Yes. And that's why the Bible said in, in, in the second chapter of Acts, on the day of Pentecost, when they were all in one place and all in one accord, then as a sign of rushing mighty wind from heaven, the Holy Ghost came and filled the room, and cloven tongues as a fire set up on each of them, and they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit, other tongues as the Spirit gave them other this. And then there was other people that was on the outside looking in and said, These folk are drunk. And then Peter says, these folk are not drunk as you suppose. Come on here. Come on here. Why? Everyone hear me. Because you, like I said earlier, you have people that come physically on the inside, but their spirit is still on the outside. So they can't receive what God is doing. Why? Because they haven't made up in their mind, in their heart, to become new. When you become new, all things are passed away. If your function change, your mentality change, get this, how you flow change. Why? Because you have a new purpose and a new direction. And that's what God is trying to take us to as a church. Hear me. Because there's people right now, everyone hear me. If this church will come up in prayer, hallelujah. Watch your family get saved. Watch the turnaround in your life. Watch your spiritual growth be elevated. Hear me. But what is happening? We trying to stay in the old skin. 
when God's trying to get us to break it. Come on here. We need to break some. Hey, I need some stuff broken in my life. I'm tired of being the same way. I'm tired of coming here than just going through the long. I need God to do something in my life that I never have experienced. Get this. Because get this. When you become who God has called you to be, watch everybody around you. Get this. Be affected by your walk with God. Hallelujah. Get this. Some things will just happen just because you're in the flow. Some things, get this. You can just be walking and talking with God that you don't have to even ask God for some stuff. Some things just come to you. Lift your hands. Very good brother of mine. He uh, was talking about one of the, the clients leaving. And he said it was, a, it was a good account. He said, but she was pulling money, already pulling money out. And I said this to him. I said, sometimes God has to take folk out in order to bring folk in. Come on here. It won't hit me. So if you cry over the folk that have left you, hear me. Just thank God for the new ones that's on the way. Amen. 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 You stress it. Oh, they left me. This they wouldn't bring me in the first place. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell you, I'm tired of dead weight. I'm tired of pulling the folk. Come on here. I need somebody that will push me. I need somebody that will encourage me. Can I get somebody in the house? Amen. Hallelujah. Look, at Sister Brenda. Sister Brenda. Heaven, all, and so many people, so many people, that unexpectedly, to give her appreciation. Amen. Didn't even ask for it. Then she came to church and the church. Why? Because she brought it with that one. They want to hear me. See, that's something for required that recognition. Well, they ain't appreciating me. This you're doing it for the wrong reason. That's right. Amen. Y'all hear me. Mm -hmm. See, some folks expect some people require it. Hear me. My job. Hear me as a pastor of global life on the service in all. That means even when you speak, my job is to pray. If one of you going through something, we all going through. Why? Because we in this thing together. Right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not no, uh, well, get it for yourself. No, we in this together. If I you, come here. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm the new one. And this is what God said to me. Go to Isaiah 40 chapter, 43rd chapter, I'm sorry, verse 18 and 19. What the Bible says? Open the clothes. 40, 40, 43rd chapter, huh? Are you ready? I'm ready. Remember ye not the fallen things. Tell your neighbor, say, hold on. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, forget those old things. Let that stuff go. Yes. Don't you hold on to it no more. Y'all better help me in the house. Amen. Come on here. You hold it on to old things, hear me, that don't even matter no more. Yes, yes. Find it will spill with. Just wipe it up and keep throwing the tile of the trash. Come on. Go ahead. Neither remember the things of old. Come on. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now. It's a spring for. Tell you, neighbor, God is trying to do a new thing. He's going to do a new thing. Come on. And it, is, it has to begin in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Stop looking for God to do something to someone else. Say, neighbor, God's going to do something to me. Yeah. I feel it. Come on here. Yeah. That's why God been waking me up. Come on. That's why I've been sleeping well at night because God is on my mind. Hallelujah. I've been praying more. I've been studying more. I've been more patient. I've been more compassionate. Come on here. Yes. Go ahead. Now it shall spring forth. Now it shall come forth. Shall ye not know it? That means you, you don't, can, can you recognize it? Can you sense it? Anybody can sense that something big is about to happen in your life? Something good is turning around for you? Yeah. Come on here. Many times get this. See it. Get this. See it is not believing. You got to believe it before you see it. Amen. Go ahead. It will make a way. It will even make a way in the wilderness. God said, I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. That means, get this, in a place where there was no way, I'm going to make a way. Amen. Go ahead. And rivers in the desert. How in the world can you give us a river in desert when all around is dry? The Spirit gave us that he's able him. He's able to do what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. Yeah. Go ahead. The beast of the field shall honor me. Come on, everything. That's good. Everything, everything shall honor him. God is saying this, hear me. He said, 
I'm going to do a new thing, and I'm going to do something for you. Get this. But you got to believe it. You got to perceive it. You got to see it by faith before it happens. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands. Stop allowing things to break you. Everyone on your feet, lift your hands.